and just to be thorough I wanted to see how the current waveform looked on AC so I got it hooked up through a uh, isolation transformer on 120 volt AC RMS and you can see both of the plates are lit now the, the, the front plate and the back plate inside the lamp and I've got a uh, channel 1 is on a 10x probe right here and channel 2 is reading across the resistor channel 1 though the yellow one is looking at the input the 120 volt AC actually goes up to about 170 volts peak value and uh, the blue trace which is the uh, the current um, you can see how it doesn't doesn't actually conduct current remains zero until voltage reaches a threshold of about um, 60 volts or so and at that point that's when the current starts flowing when the the bulb starts conducting until the voltage gets below um, let's see that's about about another 50 or 60 volts or so is when the voltage gets below that that's when the current turns off until the next cycle when it reaches um, a 60 volt peak I zoomed in on the current waveform and we're measuring um, 500 millivolt per division which is actually 5 milliamp per division um, and you can see it reaches from 0 to 15 milliamp um, peak the peak value and let me pause it and zoom in on some of these things here There's really not much going on in that one. Hmm. It seems like the fluctuation is mostly probably going to be in between the individual half cycles of the 60 hertz. 60 hertz line frequency there's very little amplitude change at all within you know very little high frequency amplitude change like we saw on the in the DC case we have something going on here Look at that. See, it's not all nice and curved anymore. It did some, some weird jumping around there and even a little spike right there. There's a little spike. There's another one. Let me play it again. Oh, here we go. Now I got something. So looking at a high frequency component there. But in the adjoining half cycle, nothing much. And then we got some high frequency stuff here. Anyway, trying to get an audio signal out of this would be very very difficult of course I'd have to filter out the 60 Hertz part of it first and then it wouldn't be much fun after that so I'm gonna stick to DC